What's going on guys? Today I want to take a look at some AVS vent shades. These are the in-channel vent shades. Uh, there are two options. You can get the, the stick-on vent shades. Like I said, these are the in-channel. Um, I prefer the in-channel. I think they just look a little cleaner. Um, that being said, there are issues with the in-channels potentially scratching your windows. Uh, I had that problem on my Jeep. Uh, but there are small scratches at the top that you really couldn't see unless the window was like halfway down. So, uh, kind of a trade-off, I think. Um, but, uh, you know, the, the ones that stick on, they just kind of look uh, kind of bulky and I'm not a fan. So, we're going to take a look in that box behind me at the, uh, the in-channel AVS uh, vent shades, uh, rain deflectors for your window. So, this is for my Dodge Ram. Um, these are, you know, pretty much form molded and made the same for any vehicle. Um, but obviously different sizes for different window sizes. Um, so let's uh, take a look at the unboxing of this and then we'll uh, take a look at getting them put on the truck. So here we have them unboxed. They're boxed pretty nicely. Um, they come with your instructions, your little scotch right pad, get that off the paint. Um, I know somebody will rag on me for having these on the paint, I'm sure, but uh, a little single stage, it's pretty rough as it is, so it's okay. Uh, alcohol prep pad, uh, these are the rears and then the fronts. Uh, they're in pretty good shape. I will say these things scratch very easily, as you can see right there we have scratches in them already so i might message the company about that just to see if they'll take care of them but they do scratch easily so it's not the end of the world um the ones that i put on my jeep they had little clips for the rear windows these don't appear to have that they just have the double sided tape on it um so that's kind of nice you don't have to put those extra clips in there uh insulation should be pretty easy so let's go uh we'll take a look at that Take a look at the fitment there. Only thing I'm not huge on is a little plastic piece that comes off like that. I wish I would have tucked it in there, but I think it looks alright. And then I did put the windows up to help adhere that. Alright guys, so there you have the installation of the AVS window vent shades. Um, they went in really easy. If you take a look at the video, you do use the scotch bright pad, you scuff up the felt, and then you just use the uh, double-sided tape. They are supposed to sit for 24 hours. I put my windows down about uh, two, three hours after the install, and they're all stuck on there, except for the rears. The rears didn't stick totally, so I put those windows back up. Uh, next day, they were good to go. Um, in terms of fitment, they fit really well. I do have a little bit of a warpage, I think, which is due to how they were shipped. Um, they came in a little bent, but I was able to kind of bend it back, so uh, it looks good. Um, I did mention earlier that these scratch windows, I think that is actually the WeatherTechs. On my Jeep, I believe I had the WeatherTechs. I don't think I had the AVS brand. Um, these ones are very smooth on the inside channel, so they don't look like they're going to scratch my window at all. Um, so that's that's a positive as well for these over the, uh, the WeatherTechs. 
They're also very low profile, as you guys can see. I really like how they look. Um, it's just a good look, and they'll look even better once they get those front windows tinted. So that's kind of that for the AVS uh, vent shades. They do keep the rain out of your uh, vehicle as you're driving around if you want the windows down. I love having my windows down, so that helps me a lot. Um, so yeah, we'll wrap this video up. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments below. Um, and again, I appreciate you guys watching.